Hello, this is Coach Roland from Elite Golf Schools of Arizona. In today's video, I'm going to show you how in putting, calibrating your zero. So you're always going playing different courses. If you always play the same course, easy. You got the green speed down, right? Let's say we go from a place that's rolling, this is rolling just under 11 right here. Let's say we go to a place that's rolling 9 or a place that's rolling 13, okay? How do we figure out the speed of the greens? Well, it's real simple, okay? You go to a green, I want a flat, level putt. Go about 10, 12 feet out, 15 is fine, whatever, okay? I want you to just take and hit some balls at a hole. And I actually, this is the only time I want you to putt and you're actually not trying to make the putt, okay? I know it sounds funny. don't ever want you to do that except for in this little thing that we're doing here. So I want you to putt at this hole and I want you to feel that speed and get the speed. The ball should end no farther than 18 inches past the cup, okay? We don't want five-footers coming back, three-footers coming back. We want the ball to stop pretty close to the hole after it passes it. If it doesn't reach the hole, it can never go in, right? So let's get that calibrated zero going. That's pretty good right there, okay? Well, I broke my own rule. I made the putt. Okay. I used four balls there doing that. Use four or five balls will get you in the field. You can repeat that as many times as you want. Just get the feel for that speed. You need to know what the ball is going to do if it doesn't make it right? We need to know how far it's going to finish past that hole. You need to figure that out. And again, this is a flat level line. The next video, I'm going to show you how you figure out what to do when it's uphill or downhill. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do this. There's several different methods of how we can do a slick downhiller. Again, I hope you never ever put yourself in this position. Again, this is running just under 11, over 10 again, whatever we want to call it. Okay, so if we miss this, again, we're going to have a putt coming back. That's all there is to it. Okay, so what we're going to do is manage that so we're not having 15 feet coming back. Okay, so how we do it, we're not putting at this hole anymore. Okay, this hole is a spot we got to go to eventually, right? But in our mind, we're going to move this hole all the way up here. Let me set a ball up. Okay, setting a ball up there. Okay, it's probably eight feet away or so. So now I'm going to move this cup all the way up here. I am actually making a six inch putt. Okay. This putt is no longer eight feet. It's six inches. So we're going to aim at a cup that's right here. And we are just going to put enough speed on this ball to go six inches. And then there, now I've got a manageable putt when I make or that I can make. Okay. Now, another thing that happens when you have these severe downhills and they're kind of on a slope, okay? So when we have a normal putt that's got a, maybe a longer putt that's got a break in it, we're hitting a ball with enough speed to where it's holding its line through a break for a while, okay? And then it'll start taking a break when a putt slows down, okay? So now, we're, since we are putting this so slow in the very beginning and we're barely touching it, it's going to immediately start taking a break, okay? So if this was a flat putt with this little side hill break on it like this, okay, I'd be putting it, you know, a few inches outside the hole, letting it curl in. Now that I'm putting so slowly, now I've got to actually put a lot more on that because as soon as I tap this ball, it's going to take off to the right and take this break. So again, I'm taking this hole in my mind, moving this hole all the way to here, okay? And I'm aiming farther left than I think I need to, okay? And I am just tapping this ball to move it about four inches. Now it takes that break right there. I barely missed that, but there, that's again, that's good speed, okay? That's how you need to handle a slick downhill putt. You do that method, it's going to work out for you. Okay, so now I just showed you how to do a slick downhill putt. Okay, now we're going to do one that's uphill. Okay, and uphill putts are the easy ones, right? But how many times have we done an uphill putt and 
oh, right on line, I leave it eight inches short, a foot short, or whatever, or just right on the front of the cup. So the same method works uphill as it does downhill. So now I'm no longer putting to the length of this hole. I have moved this hole in my mind back a foot or so. Okay, so I'm putting my speed a foot farther than this hole. Okay, so now it makes it there. We have a putt, the uphill putt, that makes it there. And you see it made it a good less than that 18 inches what I was talking about. That's good distance for making this putt. Okay, so get your line. Pick a spot, move that cup in your head a foot farther or so, and you'll have to calibrate that again with how uphill it is or downhill it is, right? So on an uphill putt, we're moving the cup farther back. On a downhill putt, we're moving it very close, especially if it's a slick downhill putt, right? Okay, so now I'm putting at a spot behind that hole. Bang, enough speed to make it. It got up that hill, it went in. If it misses, we finish this far behind the hole. We don't finish here. And we don't finish way over there. Okay? So that's how you do uphill and downhill putting. And that's how you calibrate how you do that. That's how I do it. Let's try that method. <laughs>